Thanks for joining me on another edition of the Wealth Nation podcast. I am Yolanda Harry Pasad. I am a wealth advisor. I'm also the founder of Financially Fabulous Females. And the Wealth Nation podcast is just one of the many content pieces that we put out every single week. If you're new to the podcast or if you're new to Financially Fabulous Females, check out uh, check us out on social media, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, uh, a little bit of Twitter, and also lots of things happening on our YouTube channel as well. And I'm also the founder of Solomon Wealth Management. So uh, on that platform, we take investors just like you. We work with you one-on-one and let you know what's hip, what's happening in the world of investments in South Africa, locally and abroad as well. And uh, we try and put you in a better financial position. Now, it is my goal on this platform to give you easy, actionable tips, content and strategies that you can use to manage money well, to live abundantly and to build generational wealth. And uh, one way to do that is by investing for dividends. And that's what we're talking about in this episode of the Wealth Nation podcast. Now, there are plenty of advantages of investing for dividends. I love investing for dividends. It's really rewarding when you see real money coming into your into your portfolio every month, uh, sometimes uh, every quarter, and you can literally watch the interest and the return compounding right before your eyes. A good portion of my portfolio is centered around uh, dividend uh, investments, and investing for dividends, it's, it's really rewarding, but it's important that we know the pros and cons before you get to start down the path of deciding on actual dividend investing strategies. So in this episode, we're going to go through a couple of those pros and cons when it comes to dividend investing. Let's start with the cons and get the bad news out of the way when it comes to uh, dividend investments. Uh, it's that the payment of the dividend within that investment is not really a guarantee. So if a company that you're investing in starts to experience financial hardship, like we saw this during COVID-19, a lot of places locked down. For example, in South Africa, we're heavy on the tourism space. The big listed companies, Sun International, Sogo Sun, um, their, their, their business will completely shut down. No gambling, no hotel stays. So obviously, those were companies that could not pay dividends. So those dividend payments are not guaranteed. Sometimes they could even be reduced, suspended, or completely completely cut off. The second, uh, the second con of investing for dividends is taxes. Now in South Africa, okay, you have to pay dividend withholding tax even within your tax-free investments. If your tax-free investments are more advanced and not just the bank interest kind of thing, so in South Africa. We, ne- we never had this. This was a like recent thing since the early 2000s, I think, it, it came out where um, it started off with the lower percentage. Currently, to date, at the time of recording this podcast, our dividend withholding tax rate is 20%. Then, obviously, if you have offshore, um, offshore holdings where you get d- dividends from offshore sources, then depending on the, the, the tax code between and the tax treaties between South Africa and that related country, um, there's some rules there to make sure that you're not double taxed in, in the country of origin and, and here as well. But usually what happens, okay, if you were an asset manager or if you were with Solomon Wealth Management and whoever we put your investments through, they handle your dividend tax, uh, your dividends payments on your behalf. For example, if you're with me and we're with an asset manager and I recommend the S&P 500, the asset manager will, would uh, put the, in the investments for you. They pay you your dividend and they'll also pay the dividend, uh, the foreign dividend withholding tax on your behalf. OK, you'll see all of that in your statement, but it is a pain to pay taxes. It's never very nice, but it's one of the downsides. But uh, it can be an upside, but we'll talk about that just now. So paying those taxes, it, it reduces the amount you return um, on that investment. And every year or every time you get paid a dividend, you will have to pay those taxes. Now, an investor who, who has a growth strategy, who's looking for appreciation, he doesn't necessarily have to pay those uh, dividend taxes or dividend withholding taxes, as we call them, in South Africa. Uh, usually that happens when appreciation happens and if you sell the units, then tra- capital gains tax is triggered. 
The third thing when it comes to uh, dividend investing is that growth is slow. Traditionally, when it comes to investing for dividends, uh, it's companies that are big and established and there's not much room for growth that actually pay dividends because a company that's in the growth phase, they're not paying out their profits to investors. They're taking those profits and they're reinvesting it. They are putting it back into research and development. They're busy expanding more manufacturing units, more stores, uh, expanded distribution. So the big established companies with little room for growth will pay decent dividends, whereas the small startups with massive uh, room for growth, they're not going to pay dividends. Typically, they're not going to be paying dividends. So traditionally, there might be no capital appreciation on that underlying asset. The first pro of investing for dividends is that you immediately start to receive a return of your in, on your investment. For example, as, an, as a wealth advisor, we offer our clients uh, dozens of dividend indexes. So instead of you uh, as an investor going on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange or in an international stock exchange looking for which companies are paying dividends, doing all these kind of analysis, we just put you in an index. In an index, that allows the professionals to actually go out and look for these stocks and monitor these markets and know who's paying what and how much of it they're paying. So you invest in this index, okay, and you don't have to wait for the company to appreciate and get some success before you start re receiving dividends. Those are big established companies. You, If you buy a day before the dividend is announced, you will get paid. Okay. In most cases, when it comes to dividends uh, indexes, those might be paid quarterly, it may, might be paid biannually, but you're going to see real money coming in. Now, you can have that money come into your bank account, which is also nice, but obviously as an advisor, it's, it's always my recommendation, let that money go back into the investment and give you some super compounding. So it's pretty exciting. So it's basically money that's working for you, money working for you that's working for you. And it's multiple contra uh, compounding uh, that's happening right before your eyes. Now, while we had taxes as a con, it is essentially a pro, especially uh, when it comes to your tax bracket. Now, if you are over... Um, a 20% tax bracket in South Africa, um, the taxes on dividends are going to be much nicer for you. And in fact, I did some research recently. Well, it wasn't recently. It was a couple of years ago. And we found that when it came to the top 1%, they got their income mainly from dividends and capital gains, selling and gaining on their capital. Okay, so essentially as an investor, uh, who's on a higher tax bracket, maybe on a 45% tax bracket, to receive money and only pay 20% tax is pretty sweet. Okay, and when you receive those dividends, the taxes are paid on your behalf. So when you make those withdrawals, or if that money comes into your account, um, it's not taxed in your hands, which is of a great advantage. It, it leaves you in a tax neutral position because the tax has been paid in your behalf and also psychologically as well. You know, you know uh, 10,000 has come into your account, you don't have to pay tax on it. So the tax has been paid. It, it's kind of a bit of a mind game, but that's the benefit of uh, the dividend withholding tax. It's one of the lowest forms of tax that you can get, especially if you're in a higher tax bracket. Also, if, if you're a company owner, you should be using this to your advantage when it comes to your income. But uh, that's not a conversation that you should be having with me. If you're my client, we'll have that conversation. But if not, you should be speaking to your tax consultant. The fourth pro when it comes to dividend investing is... I would say my my favorite is investing in that index. The index takes away all of that hard work. I know that I have fit and proper qualified asset managers looking after this for me. They come up with the index. They know who's paying, why they're paying, how much they're paying, and they're picking and choosing companies and rebalancing uh, maybe two, three times a year. So I don't have to do anything. I just got to make sure that there's money in my account for those debits. So if I'm making a lump sum deposit, that money reaches the asset manager and let the asset manager do the work. So it saves a lot of time and it takes a lot of worry away from me uh, when it comes to investing. So I don't have to worry about investing for dividends anymore. I have my two indexes that I invest in. I get more control of my life. I get a lot of my time back. 
I'm not worried about, I'm not, I don't have my head buried in my computer with tons of uh, software trying to uh, figure out who's paying and who's not paying and trying to follow the markets and all of that. Well, I follow it for, for my own, for, for business purposes, but not because I have to and trying to pick the right stock. There's a lot more other things to enjoy uh, in life than trying to pick uh, the right stuff when you can pay somebody to do it for you. So think and reflect. Go back and listen to uh, the podcast if you need to and reflect on, on what I've mentioned and try and figure out with how that aligns with your investment goals and your investment strategy. Does it make sense to your situation? Think about it. So if dividend investing is for you, reach out to me at uh, Solomon Wealth. It's solomonwealth.co.za forward slash get started. Click on the get started button and then we can chat one-on-one -on, -one on how we can include uh, a dividend investment strategy as part of your portfolio uh, where the risk is low, but you're growing over the long term. That's it for me on this edition of the Wealth Nation podcast. I'll chat to you soon.